What's up guys, Andrew, AKA the Glocktopus here with Glocktopus Reviews. And this week I'm bringing you a review on the HK SP5, the civilian version of the legendary MP5. If you guys wanna see more cool HK reviews like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Let's get started. Alright guys, let's get into this tabletop review slash overview on the HK SP5. First off, when you get an HK SP5 from HK, it's going to come in this nice little soft case here. Um, we'll get this open and show you what everything comes inside of the case. Inside, it's not going to be an SP5 gucci out like I have mine here. It's just going to be a regular SP5 with the regular end cap as you see here with a bungee sling and then you're gonna have the traditional hand guard here that you see that goes on the front, the really iconic shape that a lot of people recognize really fast. Um, also in the bag, you're gonna get a HK branded lock, your rear sight tool, which is a really cool thing they include here in the bag. Use that to adjust your rear sight. And you're also going to get your owner's manual. And dependent on if you got the 30 round mag or the 10 round mag, um, that is also going to be in the bag. You'll have two mags in it itself. Let me get this bag out of the way and let's dive in deeper on this SP5 build that I've got here. All right guys, now that we've got that out of the way, you see here on the table, I've got a few items. I've got a silencer here with a dead air chemo adapter. I've got the JMAC Customs Bravo Blast Shield. I believe it's called the Bravo Blast Shield. Um, really, really nice blast shield for when I'm running this unsuppressed. As you see here, I've got the JMAC Customs 360 brake that is actually built and made for the MP5 slash SP5. Um, that actually sucks down over the barrel and gets this chemo device a lot closer to the tri-lugs as you can see back here on the back. Um, also here on the front, you can see we'll move along. We've got the Midwest Industries handguard for the MP5. Um, that gives me all the M-Lock slots that I really need to add my accessories. I've got my hybrid cloud defensive light here. This has the high candela head on the Gen 1 body and tail switch. And I've also got the Gen 1 activation switch on this side on a Samson uh, Picatinny rail that's mounted here to the side of the handguard itself. It's a really nice option. I like this here because it kind of runs some nice smooth lines off of that handguard, which is nice as well. Uh, moving back here to the back, we've got the Midwest Industries Picatinny rail here on top. Um, that's gonna be my Reptilia Core 1.93 mount with the Holosun 403R on top. Really, really nice optic setup. I love heads up shooting and this 1.93 mount here really gets you up to that height. You don't have to crook your neck. Um, just a really, really nice option for optics. And then moving along to the back, we've got the JMAC Customs in cap with the 1913 uh, Picatinny built into it. Um, that is what replaces the HK OEM in cap. This just goes straight on. Um, really easy. Just pull out your pin here from the back and you can swap that and then you're able to use whatever brace device or uh, stock on the back of your SP5 or MP5. Really, really nice option. Um, this is going to be the, I believe the nine inch um, 
arm brace here from JK, or sorry, from JMAT Customs. And this is the Gearhead Works Mod 1C brace here. Really, really cool option, because if you're shooting, this unhooks and you actually rest your arm in there and can hold this with one hand. So it's a really cool brace option that they have. I like it. And then on top here, we've got the cheek riser from Isle Manufacturing. Uh, those are available over at JMAT Customs as well. Just overall, guys, this is a really, really nice build for me. I wanted to make sure that I got the nicest parts that I could to make this build work for me. Um, I go under the mentality of kind of buy once, cry once. You don't want to really buy a lot of cheap stuff. If you're going to spend the money, guys, for a, a weapon such as this, the HK SP5 or an MP5, don't skimp out on parts, guys. Go ahead and get some really, really nice parts for your weapon. Make sure that it works really nice for you. Um, if you're building a clone, there are other options, but if you're going to spend money on parts make sure you're spending money on parts that work very well and complement what your build is um, these are 30 round mags as you know the sp5 does have the rock and lock which is putting the mag in and it locks with this tab here on the back it's also got a mag release button here on this side for the wrong-handed guys out there not the right-handed guys um, just makes it a lot easier to shoot and of course you've got your charging handle up here which everybody knows you can get that awesome HK slap out of. Um, overall guys this is a really really nice build for me. Um, as you can see it does come with iron sights here on top. I obviously don't use those because of this mount here. Um, but make sure that you are using like I said good parts. You'll be able to get a really nice build and these SP5s shoot like a dream. The other thing I want to do guys is go over a little bit of specs and talk about the SP5 itself. This is a nine millimeter uh, weapon. This is a roller delayed blowback system. Uh, the magazine capacities uh, are 10, 15 and 30 rounds. There are different mag capacities. Like I said, these are going to be the 30 round mags. Uh, the length of this weapon is going to be 17.8 inches. The width is 2.48, so two and a half inches. The height is right at 8.66 inches. And this has a barrel length of 8.86 inches with a sight radius of 10.2. Um, without the magazine in the weapon, the weight of the gun is gonna be 5.1 pounds. And the weight of the empty magazines is right around like six ounces, super, super light. Um, the trigger pull, if you have never experienced using an SP5 or MP5, Trigger pull is a little heavy, but it is very, very nice. Um, it's not super hard to activate. It's just something you have to get used to if you've never shot one of these before. Um, this does have a right hand twist barrel and is threaded in half by 28, as you can see here, and has the tri lug in the front. Um, like I said, I choose to run the dead air chemo system and that threads right onto the half by 28 on the front of the weapon. Um, as far as the SP5, this was developed by h &K. Um, It's made in Germany on the same lines as the MP5. So it's got the same people that have been building that gun for years are building this one. They use the same attention to detail, which is really cool. Um, it's manufactured in h &K's Oberndorf factory, which is in Southwest Germany. Um, it retains a lot of the cool elements of the F of the MP5, and it's made by the same precision machine components of HK. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and get this packed up, taken down to the range, and show you how this shoots suppressed and unsuppressed. That way you know what it looks like. I, I guess I could say it looks like, because you obviously can't feel it, but you're able to see how flat this shoots and how nicely it shoots. Today's range time is sponsored by Big Tech's Ordnance Range and Training Center in Conroe, Texas. If you're ever in Conroe, Texas, stop by 13748 Texas 105 and give them a call if you need at 936-588-3333. Really cool store. They've got pistol lanes, rifle lanes, and everything you can think of to buy on the shelf. Again, that's Big Tech's Ordnance Range and Training Center in Conroe, Texas. All right, guys, first up is going to be a 30 round mag of some Tula steel ammo. Uh, just some cheap stuff. It should run fine through this SP5. We'll get it loaded up and try it out.
As you can see, it runs the steel ammo with no issues. Super smooth. Love how flat this thing shoots. Super, super nice gun, guys. We're gonna get this loaded up with some subs and get my can on the front and see how it shoots suppressed. All right, guys, next we're gonna get this can loaded onto the SP5. This is gonna be the JMAC brake that's made specifically for the uh, HK MP5, as you saw in the tabletop. So we'll get this can on here and I'm gonna run some subs through this so you can see how this sounds. I know it's on video, but you should be able to get a, a small taste of what it's like shooting the SP5 suppressed with subsonic ammo. Uh, the ammo I'm gonna be using is going to be Federal Syntec 150s, the Lipstex. Really, really nice ammo for shooting suppressed. As you can see guys, shooting this SP5 suppressed is a dream. This is a really, really, really nice build. Let's get back to the studio. All right guys, welcome back from the range. I'm gonna give you my solid rating and review on the HK SP5. My rating's of course gonna be an eight out of eight Glocktopus Arms, I'll tell you why. This is just a really, really sol solidly built weapon. Um, this thing has worked for decades. The roller delayed blowback system on here is super awesome. Super smooth shooting, not a lot of recoil. The recoil impulse is very soft. Um, the fact that I can put all of my accessories on here via the Midwest Industries handguard and the Midwest Industries Picatinny rail here on top, as you saw in the tabletop, is really nice as well. Um, the fact that I can run my 1.93 uh, Reptilia core mount so I can shoot heads up is also nice as well. And also all the JMAC accessories, as you saw guys, being able to add this on here, I know that a lot of HK purists do want to use the tri-lug that's here on the barrel, but being able to throw on a dead air uh, muzzle brake here, that's all of my cans are a dead air uh, adapter here, the chemo adapter. So it's just easier for me to transfer my cans back and forth from gun to gun. So I like being able to have that option on this gun here. Other than that, guys, um, the guys over in Germany, when they're building these guns, they know what they're doing. They're doing. Um, this is built, like I said, in the tabletop on the same line as the MP5 by the same people who have built the MP5 for years. So you're getting that same quality just in a civilian version that's only semi-automatic. Um, so yeah, guys, really, really, really nice build. If you guys wanna know where to pick one of these up, go ahead and click the link in description or link in bio. That's gonna take you over to glocktopusreviews.com or my link tree. Once you're there, you can go ahead and scroll down and I'll have an HK tab and a brownells.com tab so you can find all the accessories that I have on here as well. Um, go ahead and surf those guys, see what you can find. I know these are a little pricey, so if you are looking for one of these on a budget, go ahead and save some money guys because they are going to cost you a little bit more than the clones that are out there. If you guys have any questions or comments about what you've seen in the video today, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you guys like watching these videos, go ahead and give it a thumbs up on Instagram and YouTube. That'll help me out with the algorithm and get my video out to more people. If you wanna continue watching cool reviews like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. On Instagram and YouTube, make sure you're clicking the notification icon. That's gonna be the bell icon up in the corner. That'll get all of my newest content over to you as quick as possible. As always guys, stay healthy, stay safe. Check you guys later.